from some of the longest mega yachts to the most opulent vessels in history, and from the most secretly held super yachts to those that spared no expense in their construction, here is the ridiculous fleet of super yachts allegedly owned by President Vladimir Putin. Welcome back to Yacht News. Without any further delay, first up on our list is number 6, the Neger. According to the Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project, or OCCRP, the limited liability company Gallios, LLC Gallios, that owns the Neger Yard has very close ties with LLC Invest. Now, for those of you who don't know, LLC Invest is a group of private companies and non-profits with an asset base of over $10 billion that includes Putin's Rossiya Bank as well as his palatial home on the Black Sea. Although it's hard to tell that some of these yachts belong to Putin, the OCCRP, Medusa, and the US Treasury Department have tried to connect the dots conclusively linked to the mega yachts to the Russian president. Back to the yacht. Nega is 32 meters long, which translates to 105 feet and has a 7 meters or 23 feet beam. She was built by Princess Yachts in the United Kingdom at Plymouth Shipyard. These dimensions make Nega the 20th largest superyacht ever built by Princess Yachts and the 4,692nd largest yacht globally. The yacht, whose exterior design was done by Bernard Olesinski, was launched in 2013. Her three crew cabins host four members of staff, while the five guest suites welcome ten guests. Nega has a maximum speed of 22 knots, which is 25 miles per hour or 40.7 kilometers per hour, and a cruising speed of 18 knots, which is 20 miles per hour or 33 kilometers per hour. The magnificent super yacht is registered in Russia and is currently in the same country. It's reported that Putin uses Nega to move between a number of residences held by LLC invest firms, including the Villa Selgren, a house on the coast of the Gulf of Finland, and the Fisherman's Hut Villa on Lake Ladoga. And if you thought that this was the largest yacht linked to Putin, then you need to discover the next on our list, which is even larger. Number 5. Shellist Similar to the previous yacht, the Shellist is held by non-profit partnership Revival of Maritime Traditions, which is closely tied to LLC Invest. As of now, you know the alleged connection between Putin and LLC Invest. The yacht reportedly visits the Black Sea coast, which is where President Putin's secret palace is located. In fact, when lastly tracked on September 13th, the yacht could be seen off the coast of Galenzik. That aside, the Shellist is 46 meters or 150 feet in length and has 9.3 meters equivalent to 30.5 feet beam. And as far as size is concerned, Shellist is ranked at number 1,353 in the world. Though designed by Francesco Pazgowski, the yacht was built in Italy by San Lorenzo and delivered in 2015. She is driven by a pair of Caterpillar engines, each with 211 horsepower. As a result, she comfortably reaches a top speed of 17 knots, equivalent to 19.5 miles or 31.4 kilometers per hour. In addition, she cruises at a speed of 15 knots, which is 17.2 hourly miles or 27.7 kilometers per hour. But before we continue with number four, did you already like and subscribe so that we can welcome you aboard for more spectacular yacht content? And don't forget to ring the ship notification bell so that we know you're here. Okay, let's continue with the next one. Number 4. Chaker Chaker, which translates to seagull in Russian, is the next vessel that has been linked to Vladimir Putin. Precisely, Chaker is held by the Russian Federation and was built in Turkey by Turquoise Yachts. She's believed to be worth $18 million. Her launch happened in 2009 as Leo Fun before being renamed Sirius. In 2011, she was sold to the Russian government and consequently renamed Chaker. She is a 177 feet or 54 meters long vessel with 30 feet and 11 inches beam, which is equivalent to 9.4 meters. She can attain a maximum speed of 17 knots, which is 19.5 miles per hour or 31.4 kilometers per hour. She comfortably cruises at 13 knots, which is 14.9 miles per hour or 24 kilometers per hour because of the two powerful diesel Caterpillar 3512B engines with 1911 horsepower. Furthermore, she has a range of up to 4,000 nautical miles or 4,603 miles from her 100,000 liters fuel tanks at 13 knots. The vessel has six staterooms that accommodate 12 guests served by 11 crew members. 
Besides, she has a dining room measuring 100 square meters, a pool, a jacuzzi, a gym, a grilling area, and a beach club. We bet you don't want to see any other vessels owned by Putin because this one was ridiculous. But let's continue with number three, the Olympia. The chick and opulent superyacht Olympia was delivered by FedShip in 2002. A gently continuous shear line runs the whole length of the 187 feet or 57 meters long motor yard, which was designed by D. Vogt Naval Architects to highlight the discreet luxury found on board. Her vast amount of room on board was made possible by a collaboration of John Gallagher and Mark Hampton, who gave her a beam of 33 feet and 1 inch or 10.10 .10 meters beam producing a calm and welcoming design. This innovative interpretation of the classic Fed ship sailing profile revolves around a layout that provides up to 10 passengers with luxurious, spacious accommodations. This perfectly maintained superyacht was refitted in 2008 and offers the best lifestyle in total comfort and can reach a maximum speed of 17 knots, which is equivalent to 19.5 miles per hour or 31.4 kilometers per hour. She has a range of 4,700 nautical miles, which is 5,408 miles and 8,704 kilometers. Her two powerful 1500 horsepower Caterpillar diesel engines as well as dual screw propellers enable the mentioned speed. The Olympia provides enough space for up to 10 visitors to sleep aboard comfortably and is operated by 16 qualified crew members. She's valued at $22 million and registered in the Cayman Islands. This spectacular vessel has been described by the media as Putin's favorite and most photographed yacht. The yacht's connection to Putin remained inconclusive, but the US Treasury Department recently revealed that Putin's travels on the Olympia, hence her sanctioning. Let's continue with number two, the graceful, currently, Kosatka. President Vladimir Putin is believed to own this 82 meters or 269 feet long graceful motor yacht. The yacht currently known as Kosatka, which means killer whale, assumed her new name after Russia attacked Ukraine. The superyacht started her construction at the Sevmash shipyard in Russia, but her completion occurred in Germany at Blom and Voss before being delivered in 2014. Propelled by twin MTU engines, the vessel can attain a maximum speed of 18 knots. Similarly, she can cruise at 14 knots and has a range of over 4,000 nautical miles. Kosatka has 14 crew members and can hold up to 12 passengers in 6 cabins. She weighs 2,500 gigatons gross and has an 11 meters beam. The killer whale brings us to number one, Scheherazade. The Scheherazade was recently frozen by Italian authorities in the port of Marina di Carrara on May 6th and re-registered to Malaysia. She was formerly in possession of oil and gas tycoon Eduard Kudinatov, but it's thought that Putin is the real owner. The yacht was built by the German shipbuilding company Lursen and launched in 2020. She is 140 meters long or 460 feet with six decks. It's one of the giant-sized yachts with space comparable to two apartment complexes and belongs to one of the most highly priced super yachts in the world valued at $600 million. The mega yacht can accommodate a total of 18 guests in 9 luxury cabins without mentioning the 40 crew members residing in 20 cabins. In addition, the Scheherazade has a royal suite, a helipad at the front and rear ends, a swimming pool, and a gym as well as a beauty salon and a spa. That is all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that we can welcome you aboard for more spectacular yacht content. On your screen, select the video Entire Crew Disappeared from Vladimir Putin's $600 million superyacht on the left, subscribe to our channel on the middle, or watch one of our other videos on the right, and we're looking forward to seeing you in the next one.